Hello YouTube, this is your boy NDC Gaming here, and I'm going to be talking to you about the NBA 2K14 signature skills, and these have been confirmed, now I'm just going to go over them and explain what each one means, and what I think of each signature skill, and in the background of the game is going to be gameplay from uh, 2K13, I think it's just clips from, uh, I don't know, I was playing around with the Raptors, but now I'm gonna get into this, try to make this a quick video. The first signature skill list, or the first signature skill from the list that is new is pick and roll maestro. And that says a ball handler that excels at orchestrating the pick and roll. As the point man in a pick and roll, immediately following a screen, this player receives a three point boost to his shooting attributes and is more accurate than most when passing to the screener. Now what that means is if you're the ball handler off of the pick and roll, Whenever you, if you pull up and shoot immediately after the pick and roll, your shooting is going to be better and you're going to be able to throw the pass to the roll man better. Now then there's also flashy passer. This player is known for accurate flashy passes. When throwing a flashy pass, the penalty enforced will be reduced by up to 60%. Now if you're going to be someone who wants to throw these flashy passes like behind the head, between the legs, all this crazy stuff, no look. You're going to want to have this on because the passes won't be as accurate whenever they're flashy, but having this on will allow you to make less turnovers when throwing those passes. Now the next signature skill is Pick Dodger, which is a player that does not get caught up on screens very easily. He encounters the brick wall signature skill, and when hitting a screen set by a regular player, the screen often fails to be effective. Now, if you play 2K13, you know, the brick wall signature skills, if you got hit by that, you pretty much got knocked down. And, like, screens could be annoying, but with this, you'll just be able to go right over them, like, or, I, I guess you take a brick wall screen, regular, like it's a regular screen, but all other screens, you'll pretty much go over them, they'll fail, which can stop the pick and roll game pretty well. Now, the next one is Tenacious Rebounder, and this one... They kind of separated what Scrapper was. There still is Scrapper, but now it, it just doesn't have the rebounding part. You still go after, after loose balls, but they separated the rebounding one. So for everyone who likes to get rebounds, this senior skill would be good for you. It says, this player is known for his relentless... For, this is an insult, it's not really well. But relentlessly going after rebounds. During a rebound situation, he receives up to 50% increase in winning box out battles and poking goals on rebounds. So, you're pretty much going to be a beast on the boards if you get this in your skill. The next one is Screen Outlet, and that is a player who excels as a receiver in pick and roll slash pick and pop game. This player shoots immediately following a screen. He says he receives up to a four point boost to his shooting attribute. Now, if you're a big man in, or you're like using a big man, you're gonna set the screen and immediately coming after that, or like immediately after the screen, a pick and pop, you step out and you, you knock down the Jays. You're, you're getting a big boost or a four point boost to your uh, shooting attribute. Now, if you roll to the basket, I'm assuming you're gonna get an inside boost or a shot close by four points. So, if you've got a point guard and a big man with pick and roll maestro and screen outlet you're gonna have a pretty unstoppable uh, pick and roll game which is pretty nice now the next one is one man fast break and that is a player known for his ability to take the ball coast to coast on a fast break speed quickness and ball handling attributes are boosted six points if this player takes the ball from one end of the court to another on a fast break following a change of possession now I think that was kind of cheesy and it's kind of similar to the next one I'm about to read, LeBron Coast to Coast, which is a pre-order bonus exclusive, which uh, says if you take the ball coast to coast and finish, or it, it allows you to take the ball coast to coast and finish through contact, speed, quickness, and ball handling attributes are boosted four points, and the shot penalty in force for hitting a defender is decreased when taking the ball coast to coast on a fast break following a change of possession. Now, I think both of these are cheese, and they're kind of the same thing, except the LeBron one, you can take contact, and the shot penalty is decreased. Now, we know 2K loves LeBron, so they're going to give him this, but it's kind of the same thing as one man fast break, except the shot penalty being decreased. Now, my question is, if you have both of these, 
would it be like plus 10 to all of those attributes? Is it plus 10? I'm not sure, but we'll see when 2K14 comes out tomorrow, or maybe when I get this up, it would be today. But that is all for now. Thanks for watching. This has been NDC Gaming. Stay tuned on my channel for more 2K. I've got some Minecraft, Madden, NCAA. I've got a lot of stuff on my computer that I'm going to be commentating and putting up. Don't forget to check out my Twitter and Instagram, at NDC Gaming for Instagram, and at NDC Gaming 1 for Twitter. I'm out. Peace.